All right, little mama and Master J. Hello. Welcome back. How you doing? Thank you. It's great to see you guys again. Tell me what's been going on in your worlds. Uh, well, wor wor world's been like a war. It's been really cra like crazy. Um, which it's hard for us because we're trying to get off into doing some different things. We don't want to be in the game no more. Like we want to, we want to do some. Has it gotten? Hard I know to, me. Like I've been like applying for jobs. Has it, has it gotten hard to make money on the streets? Yeah, it's it's getting harder. Jay, can you help with that? Excuse me. Can you help with the finances at all? Quite sure. I I've been doing little odd jobs. Mm -hmm. Here and there, and it just ain't mm -hmm. working out. I mean, it's, it's come on now. I'm a manager, mm -hmm. and you know, even even those, even that's getting hard. Put it that <laughs> way, Mark. This COVID stuff it sucks. It's good, but it sucks. You know. You guys have been together how long? Too long. <laughs> Too long. We've been together like three to four years now. How much of your time is spent fighting? Um, 22 hours of the day. Maybe a year or two of it. 22 hours of the day. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of the I keep asking him why. That's I mean, why. It's, that's why we fight because, it's, like, it's ridiculous. I know I stay with him because I really care for him. I really love him. I don't know what what he sees me as. I don't know. Maybe I'm his. At the end of the day, he could just like land on me, and I'll drop in the ground, and he'll be set. <laughs> Maybe you guys deserve each other. Who knows? What's in the bag? M O M. Pers some personal things like lotion and. It ain't personal if you tell him. Well, he asks. <laughs> like lotion and stuff like that. Okay. Just making sure there's no gun in there. No, no way. No way. And where do you guys stay now? Well, we're still moving around. We, we're still moving around. Um, I don't know. We're, we're not together as much as we used to be, but I'm hoping that that'll change, you know. Um, what, what, do you, what would you like to see Jay do, or how would you like to see him change? How I would like to see him change is this. Instead of him getting mad at me and wanting to fight me all the time, maybe he should try to grab me and, and hold me. That's what I would like to see. More loving and less fighting. Even if I'm mad, you know? Because I know if somebody's really mad at me, that's what I try to do. That's what I would try to do. And Jay, what would you like to uh, see little mama do or change? Uh, just get herself together. Make her mind up. Where she's going to go. Which, I mean, come on, God put us, one thing about it. God will put somebody in your life. He has a reason, but we don't want to decide. We don't want to make the idea, oh, that person will stay in my life forever. That might not be in God's plan. Right now, what I've learned since the last time we talked is to try to focus more on what God wants. Because this is, people change on you, in the middle of the road. I, I'm not used to that. I don't like that. I'm not a fighter, as you know, per se, as you know, people may, you know, be led to think. But I, I ain't go back down, neither. Kid, woman, child, man, whatever, you know. I'm a, I'm a Leo. If I'm challenged, I'm going to come out. 
you guys have good times together? There's still some. Yes. There's there's still some parts of the relationship that. Oh work. yes, we get we get our laughs in and stuff like that, but I think the pressure of the world and the pressure of some of our peers you know, is getting to somebody. Here's the thing. I'm gonna tell you what's going on. You know, we're already going through like a lot of jealousy problems and stuff like that, right? And and then it's like, you know, it's it's an it's sad to say, but it's an envious thing. It's an envious thing. It's like, you know, well, I thought you had a life. Like, dude, what do I need to tell you to get a life or something? Like, why are you guys all up in our business now? 24-7. You know, you guys were doing your own thing, and when we were there, you guys were shooing us off, and now we're together. The moment we get together and hang out, here you guys come, wanting to, wanting to you Buddy know. And yeah. But Start things coach up. and all that. But Do you guys have people in your lives that you, you trust? Yeah. We try, but it, it never works out. It never works out. Do you out. trust each other? Yeah, we do. We do. And then it, it's it's uh it's hurtful because sometimes trust gets broken. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, we know where we're coming from. You know what I mean? We know that we. You feel we, like you're on the same team? Yeah. That's good. So, and drugs are still a part of your life? Not like they used to be, huh? No. Yeah. Um, I don't know, Mark. I wanna. I was telling him like I want to do some different things. I wanna. I wanna take a cruise or something. I wanna go to Hawaii. I wanna do some different things with him, you know. And and just but. I don't know what I don't I don't know if this man has another life with others. I don't know what's going on. Cause it's not going through, it's not happening. And me, I have a family too. I have I have others in my life too. But I'm trying to show him that I can make time for him. And I don't know what's going on with him, but I just since I last seen you, Mark, I think I lost my sister and my mother. Yeah. And I just got His word. Mom passed. I just got word today that my other sister out here looking for me because it's supposed to be another death in the family, and I'm scared to call. I don't. I don't want to hear it. But I know. I, I'm gonna have to. I'll, and I have to be there for him when that comes up. Because at the end of the day, I'm ready. I am, you know, like just ready to just separate myself, like where where our camper is and stuff. You know, I have found a sofa. I found a piece of carpet. I found some mattresses, and I was about to set my own thing up. You know what I mean? And then he comes at me like this, and it just like I just it, everything just dropped. You know. And and then it's like when you're in situations like that, you still have to go through other, you know, situations. You know, it's hard out there. It is. It is. You get depressed. You get angry. What what, what happens? What, what emotions come up most often? <sighs> we, you know what? I I know this. I know by you letting us, you know, do this interview, it's gonna help a lot. Cause at the end of the day, I don't care what I've been talking about. I don't care what's going on. I don't care what happens when we go back out there. And I'm talking about how he's doing this with somebody and how I'm doing that with somebody. We gonna stick together. And we go, we, we, we're about to get, well, we go get a, you wanna get a room and take a shower and just sh get out the world. See, I, now I gotta shut up because I'm talking about things that we need. That need that's gonna help us feel better. And he wants me to be quiet. I think I'm gonna try to work on being quiet. <laughs> Are you guys fa faithful to each other, hundred percent? Look, he knows what I do, right? He hmm. know he knows that I'm faithful to him. Now ask him, is he faithful to me? Don't. We? Yeah, we are. We are. 
I'll answer that. Because what little mama's doing for money is just what she's doing for money. That's not really. That's it. And I keep telling him that over and over again. I don't care about Luna. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I care. What it is is maybe that's the problem. You know what I mean? That I really, I, I'm really not even, I'm trying to do what I got to do so I can, maybe a, a miracle will happen or something. I don't know, Mark. I don't know. It's a complicated relationship, isn't it? Yeah, but before we, we um, I don't know, before we separate, we go, you know, we're not going to go out backwards. I'm sorry. I'm not going to separate from him like this. And he's not going to separate from me like this. I'm sorry. I don't care how hard I got to fight. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> you, who are you laughing at? Me or you? Uh, or every a lot or you just whatever. He think I'm joking. I don't know. Or maybe he's joking. You want to take off the glasses maybe? Mm, he might see your face. Take your hat off. Oh, hell. He's a handsome man. He's got good eyes. Beautiful eyes. That's my froggy. What's your favorite thing about little mama? Jay. Her smile. Her smile. Yeah. It's just. I gotta tell you, and then like, he, I, we're gonna go to the hospital too because he's having. Oh my God. He had a, okay baby, we'll be done in a second. See? See? When you. I hate yapping people. When you do that to You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, just have to. Well, that's what we're here to talk. We're doing an interview. No. Boy, we can't just sit here. Yes, we can, can we, Mark? Mark, <laughs> are, am, I do, are, am I doing what we're supposed to You're be doing? You're doing a great job, though, Mark. You're I'm great. trying. Yeah, we're, we're here to talk. It's true. I'm not here to just sit here. Stare at the camera. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about Jay? This right here. Us being able to pull through. You guys, you guys figure out a way to get through. Yeah. Always do. Always do. Where would you like to be in five years? In five years, Mark, I want to be doing something different. I want to be fucking managing a McDonald's <laughs> and, and, and having like my own spot and don't have to be in the streets and I want, you know, I want him to, you know, I, I, I don't want, I want, I don't want him to, I want him to work, but I don't want him to do a, a bunch of hard work or work hard a, a little bit. I want us to be a team. I want to, I want to enjoy some dinners with him. Matter of fact, if, if, if we could get our crazy uh, cousin out there that just did the interview, Curly, if we could get her to take us to this. I already got it set up what I want us to have for lunch today and everything. Oh, and don't I, nobody take me nowhere. Okay, well, whatever. I, I I know what I'm gonna go get. I know what I'm having for lunch today. <laughs> Mark, you gotta try it. The best Chinese food place. It's off of 103rd in Wilmington. I don't know if you've been, that's the, like by the Nickerson Project area. They have these egg rolls they make. They like the size of burritos. <laughs> And they have like shrimp, real shrimp and uh, beef and steak and chicken in them. But what I like is the rice, the fried rice that you get from a Chinese. It's like more like home cooked rice. And it, it's so good. Simple, simple pleasures. Yeah. So I just want us to. So Jay, take little mama for some Chinese food. Hmm. I, I, I'll be taking him. You'll be taking him? But that's okay, because we're going to take care of each other. There you go. All right, you guys. Great seeing you again. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Stick it out. <laughs> you, guys are, you guys are survivors. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, America. <laughs> Stay tuned. And I'm going to tell, tell you guys. You guys better stop bothering Mark. Because one day, y'all going to come see him, and me or Frog is going to pop up at this door. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>